Hi, this piece of paper is, is half the usual size. It's about seven inches by, well, let's tell you exactly because it's not be bound to ask. Uh, so just over seven inches by 11. It's that size because it got a bit damaged getting it out of the, from the block inside the, the water, the watercolour. It's, it's uh, Saunders 200 pounds. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's Bockingford. Bockingford 200 pounds. Really beautiful paper. I'm not going to do a pen. I'm going to do a wet in wet. I've just sprayed my palette with a bit of water just to soften it. So I'm going to just wet bits of it. So I used to do watercolours. I, I just love the effect that you can get with uh, with good quality paper and, and that bit of sparkle that as the paint comes off the brush it just white weakens a little bit. I mean, it might put a bit of water in it. So we we'll let that go for a minute. Now we'll put a bit of, bit of. Um, let's have a little bit of red. It's a bit strong, but just a little bit of. Okay. Um, I don't really want to do much more than that. I, let's just, just try to get rid of that tide mark there. Right, okay, so so that is a, a start. Uh, now I haven't a clue what I'm going to do, but it's going to be a rural scene, obviously, because I'm a landscape painter. But um, I want to dry that off now, so mute your computers. But I'm using the hake as big as it is on this small piece of paper. So we want to put in some background, some autumn colours, so a bit of burnt sienna, a bit of blue. I want the uh, paint to be fairly, fairly thick. Oh, let's just put something in here. Could all also be uh, Mitcham Common, my Seven Islands. Bring the background up a little bit. I'm going to put some blue behind that. Bit of alizarin, bit of red. The um, come on, I was going to say that. So it's got a background, quite a simple it's a bit of ochre in it, or sienna, raw sienna. Right, now I want some darker, some heavier stuff in here. So you have to, if you want to paint over the wet, and, and for it to register, you need to paint quite thick, thickly. So let's have a bit of, bit of raw sienna in here. Just fill some of those holes. And be very, very delicate with this uh, brush. Just using the corner of it. Nice shapes, all right? Let's uh, 
bit of black or plain grey. Ooh, some dark in here, let's. Okay, so just go along there a little bit. Okay, I quite like this sort of simple stuff. Just making it up as we go along. I'm running out of room here as usual. Right, now with a card, I'm just going to just scrape it out. I'm not sure how this paper will... Not really lifting out. It's a bit, still just a little bit wet. Okay. I'll... Uh, Put a bit of reflection in there. Um, so what we do is just wear the paper, but don't go right up to the margin or right up to the the peach here. We we want to, we need to keep that clear margin. Well, we don't have to, but that that is my thinking anyway. So I put. Put that blue in there. So just carefully just drop these colours in. It's a little bit bright, man. I've got to sort out a sort of a bit of a peach along here. The red is blue, I'm putting blue in. And we can just drag some of that down a little bit. A bit of clean water. Right, we'll leave that to, to dry. I'm, I'm going to dry that. Right, mute, go. Right, I'm going to put in some, I'm going to use a stable. Um, I want to put some bigger background trees, so a bit of alizarin, touch of alizarin, bit of, bit of blue, so, that, so we can get some trees. This is Mission Common as I remember it before all the landfill or the hills created from the spoil, I think from the spoil, from the M25 motorway that goes right down London. Fabulous motorway, overused, victim of its own popularity. Right, let's keep going. Don't make them all the same, this is a big problem. Okay, so so we've got a middle, we've got a middle and a distance now, and a sky. So I want now to put in some beach and then we can construct some sort of foreground so with some burnt umber, a bit of paints grey but because it's a rough roughish paper you can create all sorts of lovely effects with it and you can put a bit of bit of paints grey over that and
Right, now we can put a bit of texture on there, a bit of green now. A bit of yellow. See how that looks. So it's just a sort of a bit of a bit of foliage on, on there. We'll go a nice bit of dark in there. My darks are either ultramarine and uh, burnt sienna. Bit of grass. Okay. Beginning to have fun now. <coughs> now what's that? That's not so easy to, to lift out as the uh, Fabriano, <coughs> but I like I like this. I, I'm quite happy getting these these lovely effects, the sparkle that you get with dry brush watercolor. So I'll we'll go a bit more greeny, go a bit higher with this. Pretty colour, bit of light red in there, I think. So this is sort of making itself up now. Some warm in there. And a few darks. Okay, I'll just start to put in just mixing a bit of dark here. Yeah. Let's just get some of this. It's funny, these are so simple. I know they're a bit childish, but but um, they're just lovely, lovely to do. I'll do some of the rigor in a minute. Right, I'm not happy with that shape there. Right, we'll uh, put some meat on the bones with that. I'll just dry this on mute. I've got to fill that in, I think. I, I think that will come outside the mount. Uh, no, maybe not. It's quite a small mount, really. I, I haven't got a mount that size, having cut... Uh, mm. 
right, uh, sable, bit of So throw that bit in there. All right, a little bit of rigor work. Just a bit of Payne's Grey again. And I've uh, burnt sienna. I'll put it in that mount. I don't, I'll have a look if I've got another one, but I don't think I have because I cut it to a non-standard size because it got damaged in the folder or in the block. Uh, just look at that for a few seconds. Maybe that one would be a bit better. Well, there we are, that's the sort of thing I used to doodle, well I'd still do, and you'll be surprised but by you getting the sparkle, how interesting you can make things look. Let's, I'm going to just bring this up, and then I'll uh, spring it around, then we'll have a I'll just come out of that a little bit. Well, there we are. It's just a typical Lakeland scene. It's uh, not really Seven Islands Mission Common because this is too wide. Uh, but you don't know that, but I do. And people living in Mitcham and are familiar with this lovely little beauty spot in suburbia will know as well. But they're great fun to do. They're very simple. I know they're childish and there's not a lot in them. But it all helps to, to learn to control the brush, in particular the hake, which is a, a wonderful brush. But then so the sables, they're, they're different, different things. But I'm a great believer in using the large, largest brush possible and still be able to control it. You can't paint big masterpieces with tiny brushes, but, well, unless you've got a couple of lifetimes. Anyway, enjoy your weekend. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.